Hey what's up, it's Pity and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my monthly favorites. I just wanted to let you guys know ahead of time that that little snoring noise is my daughter. <laughs> she definitely is my little Snorlax. So if you hear that, don't mind it, it's just my little baby. Right now it's 3am in the morning, I really should be sleeping but I'm doing this for you guys. I wasn't planning on doing a September favorites because I felt like I barely had anything new to share with you guys. And then I started to think and think and I just went through my daily routine I realized that there are so many things that I have been loving and I haven't even shared with you guys yet or I haven't talked about it enough so that's why we're here today let's get into this video before it gets way too long so I'm gonna start off with the first product that I have been loving this month it is my NARS all day luminous weightless foundation I am in the shade stromboli it is such a great foundation if you're looking for something quick and easy and medium to full coverage it just gives you a really good like comfortable semi matte finish which I really really love so after I blend with my fingers I take a damp beauty blender and kind of just go all over my face and just pat 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 and that just really helps blend and like make the foundation look even more flawless it's so liquidy so you have to shake it up each time that you use it I love that it has a pump because it just helps me control how much product that I use four pumps is usually good enough for me so yeah definitely a new favorite of mine and I've been loving this foundation so I've really been loving quick and easy products so the next product is my Laneige BB Cushion and this is in the shade medium dark. I actually have another one of these Laneige BB Cushions in the light shade and so what I like to do is actually highlight using the light shade all over. It's a very quick and easy product to use because you can just throw it in your bag and whenever you need a touch up use it. It's very good because you can always layer it on top of anything and it doesn't make you look cakey or anything. It um, initially gives you a very good light to medium coverage which actually I love for those no makeup makeup days it kind of just like looks like your face but better and that's why I really like this the next product that I wanted to share is a new powder that I've actually came to just kind of fall in love with it is the Innisfree no sebum mineral powder and it is a translucent powder and it is made in Korea it is a Korean brand I absolutely love this stuff it is so mattifying and I love how quick and easy it is to use too so this is the theme for the month quick and easy that's my theme for this month I love how mattifying this is and it just feels so good on the skin like it feels like a very light layer um, but it just gives you that like all over matte look and so that's why I really like this so that's it for all my makeup favorites because I've been trying a lot of new products but it hasn't been long enough for me to actually put all the products into this favorites because I really want to make sure that it's my favorite before I let you guys know about it so um, yeah and then all the other products that I've been using you guys already know that I love so I feel like it's irrelevant to like keep telling you guys every single month that this is my favorite product like uh, the benefit hula bronzer you know I have a a good feeling though that my October favorites is gonna have a lot of the new makeup in there so look forward to that um, so moving on to my skincare favorites the first thing I was like oh yes this is what I have been loving and why haven't I shared this with you guys yet it is my L'Oreal pure clay mask and it is the charcoal one oh my goodness this is just amazing I love it so much I think it's definitely like my favorite face mask like at the moment but yeah I've just been really liking this because it just feels so good on my skin and it really just kind of like um, pulls all the dullness and um, revives my skin I have a little bit more acne than I'm used to so I've been using this a lot to kind of control the oils and to kind of just um, repair everything on my skin whatever is happening and it just really makes my face feel very clean and so I really like this definitely definitely recommend it it's only ten dollars speaking about breaking out and acne I have been loving my Mario Badescu drying lotion it dries out my little pimples that I get and I love it because it does that it's 
absolutely amazing. If you haven't tried this out for your acne or your pimples yet, definitely give it a try. So the next skincare favorite is my Clinique Clarifying Lotion. This is the step two of the three-step skincare from Clinique. And this is like basically a toner. I use it as a toner. It's for dry to combination skin. I do not recommend this for sensitive skin at all because for me it like stings but I like this stinging feeling and if you use this and if that happens to you then let me know. For me it feels like it's cleaning my face. It really gets rid of like the dirt and oils and that's what really matters to me the most. So sometimes actually when I just throughout the day, like if I'm busy and I can't wash my face but my face feels very oily, what I'll do is I'll take a cotton pad and then I'll just kind of like wipe my T-zone area and then I feel like it's so fresh again and that's exactly what this is doing it's kind of like getting away the dirt and the oils other than that I do use this morning and night after washing my face I think it's because of the sensation like that stinging sensation it feels like it's really getting deep into my pores and really cleaning and so I love doing it around my nose especially because I just feel so much better and it's it's crazy but it works and I really like this so if you're looking for a toner I do recommend this one okay so this this is the last skincare product and it is my Tarte Maracuja Sea Brightener Eye Cream. I really like this because it doesn't make my eyes watery. It feels so good under my eyes and I feel like my eyes are just so much more moisturized. So I can't really say that it has been brightening my under eyes because I actually haven't been getting a lot of sleep. I mean like look at this. Here I am 3am. Well, 3.40 now, and I'm still filming, so, um, yeah, uh, I haven't really been getting a lot of sleep, so I don't really expect a little eye cream to kind of, like, brighten my under eyes for that. I have concealer for that stuff, but it has been giving me a lot of moisture under my eyes, which I really, really like, and it just kind of helps my concealer glide on better. So now I'm going to go into my nail favorites. I normally do gel nails, but... I didn't this month because I got these and I wanted to try them. The first nail polish I've been loving is the OPI Barefoot in Barcelona. And I love this for fall. Like, I told myself that I wouldn't wear any, like, summery colors because, like, I keep doing that and it's already fall. So I decided to, like, go get something that is a little bit more fall appropriate. And I love this. It's, like, a very nudie brown. This is such a gorgeous fall color. So I love glitter. So I had to pair it with something that was a little bit, like, glittery and fun. So I paired it with this. So this is my OPI nail polish in Kitty White. It is from their... Hello Kitty collection. I absolutely love this color actually. So it's actually not a like clear shimmery color. It actually has a good pigment to it which I actually really like. I prefer the glitters that have more pigment and I think that it actually has white like a white nail polish along with like the little glittery stuff and so that's probably why it has a butter color payoff. So the next product is my Chess Beat top coat is this one right here. It's been my favorite for so long. I've been using Chez Vite since high school, maybe middle school. So anyways, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would love to know what your favorites were, so let me know in the comment section down below. I did do a video on this eyeshadow look right here. I will link it down in the description box definitely go and check that out. Other than that, have a beautiful day. Bye! So quickly, I wanted to announce the giveaway winner from my August favorites. Congrats to Kathleen! Thank you all so much for supporting me. Please don't feel discouraged if you didn't win. I will definitely do more giveaways, so look forward to that. I'm so grateful to you guys for always being so kind to me and leaving me positive feedback. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I'll definitely work harder to put out great content for you all. With that being said, I'll see you guys in another video.